hey guys welcome to the channel in this video I'm going to show you how to use B tool command in Splunk as we know that Splunk comprises of several con file and these con file can be read and analyzed by the B tool command so guys one by one I'll be showing you different uh, form of using B tool command for getting different kind of results so for running the P tool command I'm going to my Splunk bin directory where I will run this command so this command is written like Splunk CMD B tool and after that we will write the name of the con file which we want so uh, let's suppose if you want transforms dot con file uh, then we will simply write transforms list so guys what this will do this will give the transforms dot con of every app every folder which has transforms.conf on over your screen so guys you can see it that what kind of configuration is stored in here it's too much so uh, you can see a different kind of regex command that has been written in this and uh, what and all things so guys let's move further in this tutorial and understand how to get the location of these con files so guys as we just run command for transforms.conf which gives everything about transforms.conf but we didn't understand where this transform was present so guys we are going to write it same as before transforms list and now what we will do we will do dash dash debug or hyphen hyphen debug so splunk will now show all the location of those uh, transforms attributes each attributes location now has been shared to your screen so you can see that uh, system default and then let's see uh, let's go up and we can see different kind of apps for example over here etc app search default transforms.conf has been shown so this creates uh, much of a clear understanding now let's learn how to create a text file so guys uh, right now we are getting it over our CMD but we don't want it like that we want a separate text file to be made so for which we I'm going to do the same transforms list and now I will put an greater than arrow and then I'll type a destination so over here the file will be created so I am giving it as uh, C drive in my text b tool it's a folder which i have already created so in this i'll name it as let's name it as we will do okay dot txt or txt file uh, so that we just get an idea what is there and it is easy to read a text file than to read a cmd so uh, let's check out whether it has made something like that or not so guys as you can see in c folder i have that uh, folder and in this we will do is there and this text file has been created consisting each and every transforms.com so another cool feature of the Splunk B tool now let's move further uh, with the Splunk B tool and understand the graph so guys uh, I have opened again this uh, text file where our transform was there and now suppose all I want to see is the let's suppose regex lines so whatever line is starting with regex or is having regex should be shown for that I can do control F and it will take us to every regex um, in the text file that's what we are going to do through Splunk B tool in the Splunk B tool we will again write the same command Splunk CMD B tool transforms list and then we will uh, do debug for getting the location also we can remove it if you don't want the location then we do pipe grep and uh, our regex statement right now the regex statement is regex itself however you can write your own regex uh, statement as per your requirement so guys the command has run and you can see all the regex containing line the word regex containing line literally the word containing regex line has been shown in the Splunk configurations so this is another cool and important feature if you want to see a specific type of attribute or specific type of stanza in your system of Splunk 
so uh, if I remove the debug as I have told you earlier so I will only get the uh, the regex line I won't be getting the location let's move further to app specific configuration right now if I write the transforms.conf I will get each and every transforms.conf present in my system but I don't want it to be like that I want only a particular apps configuration to be shown so right now after btool I will be putting hyphen hyphen app is equal to search now the search apps the configuration file of the search app will only be searched and right now I have used props let's do a different one so that's why I've used props and I can see Indian as a source type I've created it and then scheduler then Nash here different kind of uh, you know at uh, source types or the stanzas I can see which is present only in search app so this is another important feature to understand our apps configuration now this is a very important function for why P tool is used what I'm going to do is open uh, wait a minute what I'm going to do is open the local file of search and in which I'm going to create another source type but what I'm going to do is misspell misspell uh, anything the thing is that B tool is able to show us what's wrong in our configuration file and that's what we are going to test so what I have done is break only before I have removed E as you can see let's see if the Splunk is able to capture this or not so let's save it uh, let's close it okay so over here I'm going to do is Splunk CMD B tool check okay wait Splunk CMD B tool check and now we will get what's wrong in our beat, uh, in our conf file as you can see it has shown so guys for more Splunk videos subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thank you